Well, hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Pastor Matt here. Listen, I cannot believe, and you probably can't either, that it is now time for the four-year crash test review of the Bible sitting right in front of me right here, the Cambridge Pit Minion in brown calf split leather. Now, as far as I know, I am breaking new ground. I am covering new turf. I am exploring dimensions yet unknown in the world of Bible reviews because I'm not aware of any other uh, similar longitudinal Bible review studies that exist on the interweb anywhere. Uh, as far as I know, most of the YouTube video reviews that you see uh, on the pages that we're dedicated to, the review places, the reviewers, the video reviews, they all do new Bibles for the most part. And now we are encroaching on new territory here with the fourth year um, that I've been reviewing this Cambridge um, tiny little ESV calf split, not even the best leather available, that'd be the goat skin, but the calf split brown leather. So forthwith, let's dive in and look at how this little Bible has survived over four years. First of all, let's go ahead and um, look at the dedication page. This is how I know when the date of the review comes about every year because I bought this Bible after speaking on the life and ministry of George Whitfield, January 20th, 2014, at the Brooksville Country Club in Florida here, to the group, the Daughters of the American Revolution. Interesting group in and of itself. Anyways, that's the date. So now here we are, January of 2018, and this little Bible is still intact. And I've lugged it all over planet Earth with me. In fact, I started off, this is pretty neat, I started off creating a travel log for this Bible so I could remember all the places that I've taken this Bible. And just surveying some of the places, I've been to presbytery meetings, I uh, went to seminary, got my doctorate degree with this Bible. Um, I've been all over the state doing, uh, um, doing funerals at cemeteries. Um, this Bible was there with me in the hospital when somebody died right in front of me. I've taken this Bible on family vacations. I've taken this Bible around the world, literally all the way around the world, to Thailand. I rode on an elephant with this Bible. Who can say that? Um, I've been to orphanages. I've been to hospitals. I've been on elders retreats. I've been to denominational headquarters. I've been to various churches, various schools. I've taught with this Bible. I've uh, preached with this Bible. I've visited with this Bible. Um, and the travel log spills all the way over now onto a third page where most recently I took this Bible to the homeland of Akron area, Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, from whence I originally came. So you can see all the places that this Bible has been on planet Earth. And uh, it obviously evidences the wear and tear of those travels on its cover. Uh, you can see that the cover is now kind of a tattered mess. It is completely worn out from where I hold the Bible with my hands and especially where I put the Bible in my bag. Um, I put this Bible in my brown leather satchel everywhere I go. It's kind of like a, a briefcase. It's a, it's a man bag. It's a man satchel. And I throw it in there, usually spine down, and so it gets a lot of wear right on these edges right here. And now it's almost like to the third layer of wear and tear right here on the corners where it went from dark brown to light brown now to like a charcoal gray the middle of of uh, the leather and this cover is really beginning to show some dynamic wear in fact this damage right here is where I put my pen I have a habit of putting my pen in my Bible and so this is completely getting biffed up and uh, scuffed here but I am surprised because this is not an edge line Bible this is a paste down Bible and so this is just a little vinyl thick piece of paper here that uh, holds this, the cover to the book block itself. And it has not been damaged, which is surprising because I've had other Bibles where that's exactly where the damage take, takes place is right where it holds on to the book block. By the way, some people ask me, what are these sticky tabs here? Why are these always in the front of your Bibles? That's because I use them all the time in preaching or my readings. You know, I'll stick it here and then, hey, if I got to find that passage later on, Boom, I'm preaching a sermon. Whoop, there it is. Found it so quick. 
That's why I use sticky tabs. I also use them to mark my reading places and the Bibles that I take with me or uh, read from regularly. So that's what that's all about. Now I will show you where the damage is happening and where I'm growing increasingly concerned about the future prospects of this Bible. What I'm noticing now is that I'm having some of the uh, sections here beginning to pull away. And if I could find a signature, let's see here. I don't want to like pull on it, but, but here, okay, here's an example. See how the signature is beginning to pull off? It used to be like stitched and now some of the stitching is is beginning to break right here. And what I'm afraid is that even though this is a sewn Bible, this is a Smythe sewn Bible, that this entire signature is going to come out if it wasn't substantively repaired here at some point in the future. Now as to the rest of the Bible, uh, the paper itself is still fantastic. I've had very little tearing. It still looks just as white as it did on the day that I got it, this paper from Cambridge truly is a wonderful paper. I don't tend to write in this Bible too much, although from time to time you can see I'll make some, some markings, just identifying preaching places or whatnot. As for the guilting, uh, the guilting is pretty scuffed up and the cover just tends to be bent and broken because what I do is I, I wind this Bible up like this and I'll stick it in my jeans pocket, believe it or not. That's probably not advised for high-end Bibles, but I do this all the time because I take this Bible everywhere. So I'll just wad this thing up and I'll stick it in my pocket and thus it sustains uh, the damage that it does. But man, if I had to rate this Bible, I would give it a 10 out of 10 for durability. Here he is now, four years old, getting so much usage. Look at the wear on this leather right here. I mean, it is just, look at that. The corners just roughed up. I'm very proud of this Bible. You know, this Bible has been with me in some battles. This Bible was with me in the room when I defended my dissertation. Um, this Bible has been with me to so many hospital visits. I've preached on it, from it, many times. Here's a sermon outline right there I just happened upon. Although, usually I'll use the wide margin version, which is the Big Daddy Big Brother, the Eagle. Same layout of this Bible. Usually I use that for preaching instead of this little guy, because the type is small. If you know a pit minion, you know that it's pretty small. Ribbons have been replaced. Uh, we got pull away happening right here. It's all chewed up now. Uh, this is going to fall apart at some point in the future. One of these days, I'll have to just sadly report that this Bible's barely hanging on for life, and it will be replaced one day by this guy who is waiting in the wings to take his place. Look at this. One of these days, this brand new. Cambridge Goatskin Pit Minion is going to replace my faithful travel companion. But not yet. I have him in a box. I tuck him away for the future. Let's put him out here. His time has not yet come. This little guy still has some work to do, even as I mess up a page. How about that? What a warrior. Okay, listen. Hey, if you want to grab the Pit Minion, it's one of the best Bibles in the world. Very small print, if you don't already know that. Very small print, but man, what a great, enduring Bible. And the only thing that's going to last longer than this is the goatskin model. I'll put a link to both of these Bibles in the description of this video. Perhaps you might get you some. And that's all I got for you today. Hey, Pastor Matt here. Follow me on Twitter, Matt underscore Everhard. Go check out the sermons, the preaching of... Pastor Matt Everhard, Faith Evangelical Presbyterian Church, linked right here where my thumb is. Talk to you later.